Hey there! Today I am bringing you another product review video. I'm really excited for this one because I'm going to test products that I got from my last Netrition order. So I kind of got just a bunch of products that looked really interesting that I'd never tried before. I'm going to test my ketones and see how they do. So anyways, I will go ahead and show you how I tested my ketones and the products that I tested. Okay, I had a serving of ice cream and uh, one tablespoon of peanut butter this morning, but it's been two hours since I had that, so I'm going to test my ketones and see where I'm at. Not bad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and test a product even though that's like kind of on the low side. I'm going to try Sola Bread. I haven't tried any of the Sola products, but I've heard really great things. Some of their products, like the granola is a little too high carb for me, but this one is three net carbs per slice. It's 60 calories, 3.5 grams of fat, seven total carbs in case you wanted to know, four dietary fiber, so that's how they get to the three net carbs, and it's five grams of protein. The ingredients are water, vital wheat gluten, so it seems like it's made out of the same stuff that Chompy's is, uh, soybean oil, resistant tapioca starch, oat fiber, resistant starch, yeast, egg, wheat flour, sunflower, seed, sunflower seed flour, soy flour, sesame seed, sesame seeds, and then contains 2% or less of the following, vinegar, erythritol, salt, tagatose, flaxseed meal, non-fat milk, cellulose gum, sugar, buttermilk powder, additional enzyme, soy lecithin, guar gum, calcium, propanate, uh, zorbic acid, enriched, enriched wheat flour, ascorbic acid, monk fruit, xanthan gum, natural flavor stevia leaf extract. So I will try a bite or two untoasted and then I'll toast it so we can see how it toasts. This is the size of the loaf. Not a bad size. I feel like it's smaller than Chompy's, but oh wow, these are definitely smaller than Chompy's. This is what the bread looks like. It looks like real bread. It has a slight maybe vinegar smell to it. Odd. But I'll go ahead and uh, taste it. This one is golden wheat. It has sesame seeds on it, which was not in the picture. This wheat definitely doesn't taste like wheat. It tastes closer to a white bread. It has a hint of something in there that I don't like. I think it's the vinegar thing that I'm smelling, but it might be soy flour because there's some soy flour in there and I've had soy flour before and it's really bitter and has uh, a, not a great taste to it. But the texture is really on point. It has a great texture to it. Um, it's nice and soft. Um, and it has a really nice chew. So this would probably be good for a sandwich, but um, by itself, it has a little bit of a hint of a off text or taste I really don't care for. Okay, so I am toasting that. It kind of reminds me that off taste, it kind of reminds me of mustard because it's a little bitter. Um, that's why I, the, by the smell, I kind of thought it was vinegar, but it might just be the soy flour, I'm not sure. But I'll go ahead and toast that and then uh, taste it toasted. Okay, so I kind of over toasted it. My toaster is like broken. Uh, so I wanted to make sure I toasted it enough and ended up getting a little burnt around the smaller sides. So um, it looks pretty nice. And again, there's nothing on it. So much like with the Franz keto bread, when you toast it, it gets rid of that weird flavor that you can taste. So I could definitely have a piece of toast like this with just a little bit of butter or like some peanut butter, some jam or something because um, I could eat this by itself. It, it really doesn't have that, that off bitter taste to it anymore. Um, I could also see this being really great for a, um, a grilled cheese because the outside gets crispy, but it's still soft on the inside, just like regular bread. So I feel like this is, this is awesome. Um, I wish it was lower in carbs. Um, so I think for that reason, I'm still gonna have the chompies, but um, I'll finish this piece of bread and then I'll test my ketones in an hour after finishing this and we'll see what the results are. It's been an hour since I tested my ketones. I had the bread, so I was at 0.6. 
before. I'm going to test and see where I'm at now. Oh, it went up a little. So I'll test my ketones in another hour. It has been two hours, two hours since I um, ate that Sola bread. My ketones an hour ago was at 0.7. So I'll test my ketones again and see if they've changed. Wow, that went up a lot. So that's good. I think I'm still going to stick to Chompy's bread just because um, I think it tastes better and has uh, less net carbs and it also increases my ketones. So, okay, so I'm going to test my next product. I'm going to try these Revel, I think that's how you say the name, snacks. These are Snickerdoodle. I really don't like cinnamon, so um, I don't know if I'm going to like these, but um, this was the best flavor that I could find um, out of the flavors that they had because I think they had like matcha and they had dark chocolate, which I don't like dark chocolate. That might have been a safer bet, but sometimes um, Snickerdoodle is not all that cinnamony. So I'm going to try this. Um, per serving, which is two bites, is 130 calories, 14 grams of fat, seven total carbs, three dietary fiber, one gram of erythritol and two grams of allulose. So that's a total of one net carb and three grams of protein. Oh, almost forgot. The ingredients are organic coconut almonds. Oh no, organic coconut almonds, hazelnuts, uh, coconut oil, allulose, macadamia nuts, erythritol, cinnamon, vanilla, sea salt, and monk fruit. Ooh, they smell good. So this is what it looks like. It comes in a little tray. Ooh, they're hefty. Feel very heavy. I was expecting them to be bigger. I saw people do a review on it and it looked a lot bigger than this. It's um it's it's about the like diameter of one of those high key cookies or the high key brownies, but it's like the thickness of probably two of those high key brownies. So you can definitely smell the cinnamon, but it's not like overpowering. So let's see. It has a kind of gritty texture to it. I feel like the flavor is pretty on point for cin um, not cinnamon, snickerdoodle. I think the, a lot of the grit comes from the coconut that's, that's in there. And the cinnamon's not super strong, but it gives that snickerdoodle kind of flavor. I actually really like this. And it's a little salty. It's really not terribly sweet, but um, it's pretty good. It has a really nice, chewy, almost, it's kind of like a granola bar in that it's chewy, but granola bars usually have like a chew because of the honey. And then it has the, the bits of granola that's a little harder. This is really soft and it, it gives you a, a nice chew. There's supposed to be a filling inside. It's supposed to be a hazelnut filling, but there isn't. I don't know if it just absorbed in the um, rest of these little bites. But these are good. These kind of remind me of these like fig bites that I've tried, but they were a little bit more, uh, they were actually a lot higher in carbs. So this is great for a little, little bite. I wish they had better flavors because this tastes like a snickerdoodle, but I don't really care for snickerdoodles. So, um... Hopefully they come out with a, a different flavor because I would totally buy these again. I don't know how much I paid for this pack of eight, but I got uh, it from Nutrition, so definitely check on there. It, I'm, I doubt it was very expensive because I probably wouldn't have bought it. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this bite and uh, then I'll test my ketones in an hour. Okay, it's been an hour since I had the um, Revel snacks. My ketones were last at uh, 1.3, so I am going to test my ketones again and see if they've changed. Wow, they went up even more. Awesome. So I'll put a timer on and test my ketones in another hour. It has been two hours now since I finished those Revel snacks, I think was the last thing I tried. God. 
time is just flying today. But anyways, I'm going to test my ketones. I don't even remember where I was at last time, so let me check. Okay, I was at 1.5 last time. So I'm gonna test my ketones now. So it's just been an hour. And then um, I'll see if it's changed at all. 1.5. Oh, 1.9. I'm so thrilled about that. Okay, so now that I'm at 1.9, I'm going to test a little bit more of questionable products. I'm going to try three of these Atkins Indulge. Um, they're like caramel squares. So a serving is three pieces. Um, that's 130 calories, 9 grams of fat, 22 total carbs, 5 dietary fiber, and 15 sugar alcohol. So that's a total of two grams of net carbs for three pieces. There's one gram of protein. The ingredients include, number one, maltitol, uh, then cacao butter, inulin, unsweetened chocolate, milk, milk, milk fat, contains less than 2% of cream polydextrose, uh, milk protein concentrate, palm kernel oil, natural and artificial flavors, soy lecithin, cacao, Salt, glycerin, disodium, phosphate, potassium, zorbate, and mixed taco, taco furls. I don't know how to say that. Carrageenan and sucralose. So, this is what the package looks like. It's very small. Oh, it's kind of the size of, um, it's very thick kind of the size of, uh, oh, what are those one chocolate bars? Ghirardelli. It's kind of the size of their, their squares. Maybe a little bit smaller, but it's thicker too. Oh God. I really hope this doesn't kick me out of ketosis. This, the chocolate is nice and creamy. The caramel is like liquidy, but the caramel flavor reminds me exactly like a Carmelo. Uh, it might be a little more runny than a Carmelo, uh, but the flavor is exactly like Carmelo's. And I love Carmelo's because I love caramel, but that is exactly what this reminds me of. Oh no. Oh my God. The chocolate and the caramel, all of the flavor is exactly like Carmelo. The chocolate is a little bit thicker than on a Carmelo, but the flavor, I can't get over how much that is like a Carmelo. I'm worried for my ketones now. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and have the other two, and then I will uh, test my ketones in one hour. Okay, it's been uh, one hour since I had the Indulge Caramel uh, squares. I'm gonna test my ketones now and see if they've changed at all. They were at, oh God, let me check. I don't remember where they were at. Today has been such a crazy day. 1.9, my ketones were last at an hour ago before the indulge stuff. But um, I'll test my ketones and see if they've gone down. I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm real nervous about this one. <laughs> those ones were, those uh, indulge caramels were so good. They like really took me back to eating caramels. They were amazing. <laughs> That's why I'm nervous. Okay, that's not bad so far, but I'll test my ketones in another hour and see where they're at then. Okay, I am about 10 minutes early, so it's been 50 minutes since my last ketone test, where I was at 1.7. But I'm pretty sure this is gonna give me a good uh, reading to kind of give me an idea of um, how badly those mess up your ketones. I think 10 minutes isn't gonna make that big of a dis difference at this point. So I'm gonna test my ketones now. 1.7, I think I just said. <laughs> okay, so that's a 0.7 drop. So since that was such a big drop, I'm gonna wait a little bit before testing my next product because I want that uh, reading to be really accurate. Okay, so it has been an hour since I tested my ketones. So total of three hours since I had the Atkins Indulge. So just for kicks, I'll show you what it um, ends up being. So it was a 1.2 an hour ago.
Ah, okay, 1.4. So I'm gonna test my next product. I'm nervous about this one too. Smart Sweets, they're like uh, Starburst kind of things. I'm really hoping this doesn't trigger me to just like crave sweets again because I've been doing really good not having any Smart Sweets products since the last time I tested my ketones when I had the peach rings. But uh, for one bag, it's 120 calories, four grams of fat, 36 total carbs, 10 dietary fiber, and no sugar alcohol. Oh, actually. So it says that there's 11 grams of allulose in it. So it's 15. I'm sorry, my camera doesn't focus. It's 16 or 15 grams of net carbs per bag, which is still a lot. Um, the ingredients are allulose is the first one, isomalto oli, oligosaccharide, um, non-GMO soluble corn fiber, coconut oil, tapioca, dextrin, uh, citric acid, sunflower lecithin, pectin, tapioca starch, natural mango, watermelon, strawberry, sea salt, fruit and vegetable juice, monk fruit extract. So I'm going to have the whole bag, but go ahead and test it. Oh, they kind of look like um, now and later's. This one's the strawberry. Looks very natural. The texture reminds me a lot of a soft now and later, and it is a little sour. Uh, maybe sour is not the right word, but tart. Um, the strawberry is very mild. I would say the sour flavor is um, more prominent than the strawberry flavor. But it's not a bad texture. It's not as chewy as now and later, like hard, like taffy. Um, it's a little bit more chewy. So this one's the lemon. I just want to show you kind of, it, they're soft, definitely soft. They didn't get stuck in my teeth uh, all that bad. I'll try the lemon now. That did not taste like lemon. I really didn't like that one. I don't know what that flavor is, but it did not taste like lemon. It was just not good. I'm not a lemon fan anyways, but it didn't even taste like lemon. Unfortunately, I have four more of the lemons, of course. So this one's watermelon. Oh, yay. Looks just like the strawberry. The watermelon, like artificial watermelon flavors there. I wish it was stronger. Again, the sourness kind of comes out or the bitterness comes out. It is more like sour. More, it, the sour is more prominent than the watermelon, which I'm bummed about. But anyways, um, that's definitely my favorite one is the watermelon. But I like watermelon personally. I don't know what the lemon was supposed to taste like because it didn't taste like lemon at all to me. But um, there are four more of the lemon, one more of the watermelon, and two more of strawberry. So I'm going to eat all of these because one bag is a serving. And then I'll test my ketones in an hour. Okay, it's been an hour since I had the Smart Sweets. I'm going to test my ketones to see if they changed. They were last at 1.4. Okay, so it dropped it by 0.5. So I'll test in one more hour and see if it goes down anymore. Okay, it has been a total of two hours since I had these Smart Sweets. My ketones last time were at 0.9, which was a 0.5 drop. So. Let's see if it's changed at all from 0.9. Whoa. So that's a 1.1 drop. It kicked me out entirely. That's a bummer. I would be very weary of these. But, um,. In my opinion, they didn't taste that great anyways. Okay guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Go ahead and give it a thumbs down if you don't like it. I'd like to hear your feedback one way or another. I would love it if you left me a comment because I love reading your guys' comments. It makes me feel kind of at home, but like not at home because at my actual home, nobody does keto. So it makes me feel even more at home than my regular home if that makes sense. <laughs> but um, I really like interacting with you guys and it makes me feel just like supported and 
like I'm not crazy for doing this. So if you could leave me a comment, I'd really appreciate that. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.